So you have logged into Warframe, ready to play the Veilbreaker update and the new Warframe Styanax R50. It's a Warframe which you get for free by logging into Warframe for the next two weeks up until September 21st. If you haven't gotten them, don't worry, there will be a hotfix dropping and you will get them for free, do not worry. After September 21st, you will be able to get them through Carl's Garrison and basically pick him up and play him then if you haven't uh, gotten the chance to pick him up now now he is our 50th warframe and i do have to say i think i found my new love in warframe now if you enjoy my beautiful voice and the content that you're seeing on the screen a like a comment and a subscribe would be greatly greatly appreciated so getting straight into this the first build normal stanax build we have basically uh, just a mix up i guess of duration range and power strength i'll not explain his abilities right now stanax's passive is that his primary i guess his critical chance on all of his weapons it says critical chance so i'm guessing it is on all of his weapons uh, because if it were primary i guess it would say primary but uh, if i'm correct i think that there might be a typo because i'm like 90 percent sure it's only for primaries and as I said, increases the critical chance and doubles for spear guns, which can be a little bit interesting. First ability, you throw a javelin, you add an enemy, you stab that enemy, and it creates a little vortex that drags enemies in. Increasing the range will benefit this ability a lot. Second ability, you throw shields that do impact damage, stagger the enemy a little bit, uh, they give you health in return, and you can reduce the enemy's armor and shields by 100%, so that is really, really juicy. Third ability. Basically, you are the main focus of every single enemy on the map and off the map as well. And then you also get shields uh, every time you kill an enemy whilst this ability is active. And also it will give you energy regeneration. And fourth ability, massive, massive damage. Basically, you float up in the air and you throw javelins that do explosion damage, or I guess blast damage, and also do slash procs. And these slash procs ignore armor so keep that in mind now uh, basically uh, why is it good to bring your power strength up to 200 percent because then you will get a maximum power armor and shield reduction which is of course 100 percent now what you can do is you can instead of blind rage that i put on my build you can replace it with transient fortitude and then use molt augmented like i do or even you know, molt vigor and then quickly switch from your operator because they have increased the the speed of transference so you could do that and then instead of cunning drift put on power drift and you will get pretty much to the same point without needing to sacrifice the efficiency which could be pretty useful now i'm not going to show you like 500 builds because there's no point in it warframe is a game where you can try out your own builds and com combo wherever i guess builds you want to you can even change our vitality for redirection it might help believe me uh now Slanax is not the tankiest warframe inside of the game definitely not by a long shot but with this build he can survive steel path pretty easily the mission uh thing the mission that i'm playing is on the screen right now the sector and everything uh not the highest in in steel path but like sort of mid-level steel path enemies so honestly the the gameplay of him is basically going to be stab enemies throw your second ability always activate your third ability like at the beginning of the mission so you can regenerate energy real fast and then when you group up the enemies fire off your fourth and then do massive massive moments of damage and basically keep your shields up all the time with your fourth ability combined with your first one and your third active you're basically gonna have infinite amount of shield and you're never going to die like literally shield ga uh, gating if, what is that that doesn't exist with this sort of build and playstyle? now the second ability or i guess the second build sorry is something a little bit different and i honestly love love my stanax like this i have subsumed pillage instead of a second ability now his second ability basically reduces uh, enemies uh, armor and shield values which is great and also it gives you health back now why not change that out for first of all status cleansing second of all shields a lot of them third of all also armor and shield reductions so basically it is pretty much the same ability but 
Keep this in mind, when your fort is active, you're not invulnerable. You can still take damage and still can't die in your fort ability. With pillage, you can actually activate pillage while you're midair with your fort ability active and pillage while you are literally killing those enemies that you're pillaging. So honestly, this build is a little bit changed up, a little bit more power strength, a little bit less uh, range, a bit more duration, but not a lot, and also also the same same. What's it called? Um, I forgot what it called. Arcanes. Uh, but honestly, with pillage, Styanax is amazing. I love this build. I adore this build. I'm using the the, the Fenmore as my primary, and honestly, I'm shredding through everything. You will see me shred through the acolyte. You will see me shred through enemies like it's nothing. Now, uh, with the first build, you saw me die there, so keep that in mind. You can run out, you do have to keep an eye out and your energy will run out, so, uh, you know, as I said, for example, with the first build, you definitely can change up long range, with the second one, I wouldn't prefer it, and it's not needed at all, because you will be getting shields all the time, so it's not uh, really that important, also you will be getting energy most of the time, so you don't have to worry about anything uh, with the second build, but I do hope you guys enjoyed, if you guys did, like, subscribe, and comment, and all that cool jazz, and I'll see you guys on the next one, the Gaming Weasel, over and out.